Hello, SCS parents, and welcome to Distance Learning at Smithtown Christian School. In this video, I hope to give you some important information and encouragement as we get started together. The text of this video is also attached to the email in case you prefer to read it, then watch it. Between now and Sunday evening, uh, teachers will be emailing you lesson plans for your child for each day of the week. You'll see on the chart that the left-hand columns are the ones that we feel are pretty high priority. It might say uh, required, and those are the things that we're asking uh, your students to do if at all possible. Then work on the right-hand column is listed as recommended, and it would be excellent for your child to do all of that if they can. However, we recognize that this method of learning is new to you, it is new to us, and also we know that your family might be dealing with any number of situations that might present challenges to you. So please don't stress. We encourage you to do it all if your circumstances allow, but we definitely understand that things might change and your ability to supervise your students may be limited at times and that your biggest priority needs to be the health and safety of your family at this time. Well, I am extremely proud of the teachers. They have made a very quick switch and uh, have learned about distance learning and are putting it into practice. We are still learning about it and growing and we need your input to know what is working well and maybe what isn't working well, what we can do better. So please be in touch with your child's teacher uh, she wants to know how your child is doing specifically. We don't want to just assume that everything is fine and you're plugging away. Uh, so let us know how you're doing, what is most helpful to you, what's useful, what questions you have. Uh, let us know even on a daily basis when your child is unable to do the work for any reason. And also if you have ideas for us about how to improve our process. Our hope is to get better and more effective each week that we do this. Also at the bottom of the email that this video was found in are lessons from our specials teachers for physical education, art, music, and library. These lessons are optional, uh, so do them as you have time and interest, but they actually might end up being the highlight of your week, just like the specials are during a normal school day. There's a few other things I want to share with you. Uh, first, teachers will be checking their emails two to three times during the school day uh, to answer whatever questions you have. We want to be helpful. They're not on call 24 seven, um, but instead I've encouraged them to set up some regular hours for themselves in their new job as a distance educator. And I hope that you're gonna be really pleased with their responsiveness during the school day. If there's something you cannot do, uh, maybe you're working on it later in the evening, you don't get an answer, please don't worry. Uh, we can extend deadlines as needed and we can have flexibility in areas where you need help or where we need to be more clear. I also want to mention to you that we don't have control over some of the advertisements. Uh, we may send you to YouTube for different video links. And um, so I wanted you to be aware of that. So please do supervise whenever your students are online. You will find that in general, the younger your child is, the more they need an, an adult to help and guide them. Our idea is to give um, between two to three hours of work per day. And we know that some, uh, there's options to do much more than that, um, but we did not want to overwhelm you. Older students may be much more independent in their work, but they still need your supervision. They need you checking in and talking with them about their work. And they also need an adult or someone who is older and responsible to oversee them while they're taking tests. So as I close, I wanted to share uh, something that I hope will encourage you. Today I was listening to a sermon by Rick Warren, and it was entitled, What to Do When You're Overwhelmed. He was teaching about the story of Jehoshaphat in 2 Chronicles 20, where God delivered the Israelites from three armies that had joined up to um, defeat them. And verse 2020 stood out to me. First of all, because it's 2020 and this is the year 2020. And honestly, only God knew what was going to happen this year and what we all would be facing and walking through together. So 2020 stood out. But then also the content of the verse um, really encouraged me. It says, listen to me, Judah and people of Jerusalem, have faith in the Lord your God and you will be upheld. Have faith in his prophets and you will be successful. Warren goes on to say that you don't need to be perfect to succeed in life and to be blessed. 
You just have to trust God. Remember the character of God, who he is, and the word of God, what he said. So parents, you might feel overwhelmed by life right now, or maybe distance learning is overwhelming you. But I want to encourage you that God is who he says he is. He is our provider. He is our wisdom. He is our help. He has promised never to leave you, never to forsake you. He has done miracle after miracle in the past, and he is the same miracle working God in your life. So I encourage you, and I'm preaching to myself, to trust him in this distance learning process and in every other challenge that we will be facing. Um, invite him in. Ask him to be in charge, and I am confident that he is going to give you and us everything we need to be successful in this. So I'd like to close in uh, praying for each of you. Would you join me? Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for these SES families. God, I thank you that you are sovereign, you are in control, and we can trust you. We do not need to fear. We do not need to worry. So Lord, I am asking for each of these parents and maybe other adults in charge who are watching this video, Lord, I pray that they would feel equipped and anointed for this calling in front of them. Lord, I pray for every home that you would protect the homes, that you would be a part of this learning process, and that you would be glorified in everything that we do. So Father, thank you for being with us. We dedicate this to you. We dedicate our homes to you, our lives to you. Father, would you be lifted high in this process? In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this adventure. We are praying for you very often. We ask that you pray for us too, and we will be in touch frequently. Have a great day and a wonderful start to distance learning.